Yo, what is going on guys? It is AJ Bants here. In today's video, we're going to be talking about skill-based matchmaking in Black Ops Cold War. So if you are interested in that, then make sure you stick around to the end of the video. Now before we get into the nitty gritty, I just want to say I don't have any interest in going into bot lobbies and pub stomping on people. But skill-based matchmaking does need to be tweaked and loosened because it is pretty strict right now. Another thing I want to touch upon in this video, and it's something I think us OG players really do forget, is the average skill level for players on the current Call of Duty games. If we compare the average skill level for players from Modern Warfare 2 to Black Ops Cold War, there will be a massive difference. Players skill base overall has drastically increased. I remember back in the day you'd be able to put in a few hours into Modern Warfare 2 and be considered pretty good. Whereas with new COD games like Black Ops Cold War, if you're not putting in around 6 hours a day but trying to play at a high level, you're going to have a really bad time. Because the phrase get good has really come to fruition, people really are getting good. But like I said, I have no issue with the idea of skill based matchmaking, but right now it's not being executed correctly. I can have one really good game and then the next game I jump into it feels like I'm at an esports event. And it just seems to go round and round in a cycle like that until I eventually just rage and jump off the game from pure frustration because sometimes I am really just trying to chill and play the game, but I still get put into these insanely sweaty lobbies and it does get quite frustrating, I'm not gonna lie. And I think all of that can be blamed on the strictness of skill based matchmaking in Black Ops Cold War. I didn't find myself having the same issue in Modern Warfare, although I know skill based matchmaking was in Modern Warfare, it definitely isn't as strict as skill based matchmaking in Black Ops Cold War. I honestly think it would be great if there was some sort of progression with skill based matchmaking, something that you can visibly see. Similar to a ranking system but one that goes based purely on skill, so KD and score per minute, stuff like that, rather than not really knowing what's going on or where you stand in the player pool. And whilst on the topic of KD, I don't know if it's just me, but my KD is different depending on what screen I'm on. And I'll throw out some screenshots so you can see what I mean. But I wonder if this is a bug in the KD system which makes it not know where to place you. So it really is just fluctuating between lobbies. That's just a theory I'm not too sure about. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section. Sadly skill based matchmaking is something that will likely never change. Because Treyarch and Activision and most big gaming companies. Especially ones putting out FPS games. Know that if they gear their games towards new players. Well they're going to get a lot more new players. And whilst it pisses off us OGs, and as much as I hate to admit it, it's not going to stop us from playing. And that's the bottom line. At the end of the day, it is a business, so it wouldn't make sense for them to remove something like skill based matchmaking because seasoned players will absolutely stump all over newcomers and probably make them never want to play the game again. It'll be bad for business. So, am I going to stop playing Black Ops Cold War because of skill based matchmaking? No. Are you? Probably not. But if you do somehow find the willpower, then I commend you, honestly. And that is it for today's video guys, let me know what you think of skill based matchmaking in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and turn on bell notifications if you did enjoy the video. And I'll see you guys in the next video, peace.